Hi, this is hi, this is Sarah Daggett with Connect for Climate. I'm here live with the Jeff Live. I'm here with Rosanna Silva Repeto. She's the executive secretary of the convention, the Minamata Convention. I'm so excited to speak to you today. Um, she's going to tell us a bit about Mercury, its effect on biodiversity, and some exciting projects that she's been working on. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thanks to you. So first, I'd really like the audience to understand a little bit about what the Minamata Convention is and what it does. The Minamata Convention is uh, the newest environmental convention. Mm -hmm. It entered into force only two years ago, and uh, it deals with mercury. And its objective is to reduce the negative effects of mercury on human health and the environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, it's it's um, it's really very fascinating to work on this because the name of the of the convention comes from a very beautiful bay in Japan, which is the Minamata Bay, where um, a terrible um, situation that took place like 50 years ago, uh, or maybe a little bit longer, uh, when a factory was releasing mercury into the environment, and uh, a lot of the mercury was released into the sea, yeah. and the fish got contaminated and as you know Japanese people eat a lot of fish and uh, therefore they were um, damaged by, by the mercury that they were consuming through the fish and it is so sad to see what happened because mercury can provoke uh, neurological damage, muscular damage and uh, we still have some of the victims alive uh, who were in the womb of their mothers when, when they became contaminated with, uh, with mercury. So um, as they said to me in Minamata, they want to avoid this to happen anywhere else in the world and this is what we do through the Minamata Convention on Mercury. Well, th thank you for the work you do. It's so important to the protection of biodiversity and, and life on our planet. I, I want to hear a little bit about um, a project that you're really excited about. I heard you've been doing a lot of work with indigenous people, and I, I would love to hear more about it. Yes, for us, indigenous peoples are um, a very important part of the Minamata uh, family because uh, the releases of um, artisanal and small-scale uh, gold mining are the, the largest source of emissions, emissions and releases of mercury. Mm -hmm. And it is indigenous uh, communities who work on this, uh, on this gold mining. For them, it's very important because it's sometimes it's their only way to survive in, in yeah. remote areas. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it creates a lot of uh, damage to them, to themselves, to their health, and also to the environment where they, where they live. Yes. Uh, so that's why, uh, together with the, with the Jeff Small Grants Program, mm -hmm. we, and with the support of uh, Norway, uh, who is one of the champions of the Minamata Convention, we uh, managed to bring some indigenous communities representatives into um, our COP3, which took place three weeks ago. Oh, fantastic. So they were there, they were taking part in the discussions, in the conversations, mm -hmm. because they really need to be part yes. of what we are doing. Yes, 100%. That's fantastic. Thanks. So fantastic that you're supporting indigenous leadership in policy making. Um, our audience is mostly young people who are watching live right here, and they're very excited to do things, to take action. What can young people do about mercury? Well, young people can uh, change their uh, consumption patterns, for example, mm -hmm. because we have mercury in uh, lamps, in bulbs, in batteries, in makeup, yeah. in whiten whitening creams. So uh, they could stop using those um, products. There are already alternatives to those products, so it's a matter of looking for them. But also what I would tell them is to work hard in innovating, creating mm -hmm. Uh, more alternatives. They could do some research, uh, those who like uh, science, and uh, to be innovative and create alternatives so that we we avoid this uh, Minamata tragedy again. Yeah, and avoid the use of mercury. Of course. Thank you so much. It's really a pleasure to speak to you today. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Rosanna. Thanks. Um, we're here live at the Jeff Live. Please engage with our social media channels. Uh, you can follow us with the hashtag JeffLive and stay tuned for more interviews. Thank you.